Welcome all. Hello and welcome back again to another exciting game of Skyrim. And today we are in our creation menu and we are discussing about the character from the world of Warcraft known as the destroyer of dreams to the betrayer of the orcs and to be one with the darkness. We are going to be looking at the character Golden. Now, as usually as what Atlas does, I have been researching deeply into the internet and I could not really find much on his early life. Oh, come on. Oh. But please don't be alarmed, I managed to find some information on our character due to a friend of mine invited me to a fan page on a social media website and luckily I found some more information on our character. Golden was born weak and deformed, which made him a target for constant mockery and abuse ever since his childhood. He knew to himself that he, he was meant for more than his clan would ever allow of him, and he hated them for it. One day the other clan members grew so tired of his refusal to accept his place within the clan, they beat him repeatedly in an attempt to rid themselves of him once and for all. As the chieftain was about to beat him again, the elderly shaman of the clan stopped him, saying that he had tried and failed to help Golden find his place in the clan. Laying a hand on the golden shoulder, the elderly said, not, unlike, not unkindly, that there was nothing more he could do for him but he had always believed that he was destined for more greatness within him. He then advised him to seek out the Throne of Elements. In response, Golden Agali beat his hand away. The chieftain then banished Golden to the wastelands outside of the village, saying that he, he would come to understand what is meant to have no people. After months of starvation, wandering alone through the wastelands, Golden began considering that the safety of his clan, after barely fighting off a group of giant carrion pit birds. He collapsed onto the ground. When he awoke, he handed the old shaman's words and made his way to the throne of the elements where he offered himself in the service of whatever would end his anguish. In response, the spirit of the fire, water and air erupted from the standing stones and begun to swirl around him like rays of light. Just as he was about to touch them, the elements mysteriously recoiled from him and the ray of light twisted into a trendel of shadow before vanishing. The element had begun, had abandoned him, and Golden was alone once again, as rain began to pour a single drop fell from his head into a pool of water in which he was kneeling, and in the absence of the furies of thoughts that came into his head, whispered, they offered him a gift, and in return he would become a harbinger of their fury. When Golden returned to his village, he was draped in tattered robes. The clan elder and the chieftain spotted him. They later furiously approached him, saying that Golden was never allowed to return to his people, In reply, Golden roared that he was no people before gripping the chieftain's face and causing him to erupt with feel energy. 
instantly killing him. Golden then went on a rampage, burning down his village and killing all of his former brethren. When Golden saw the shaman who had saved his life months earlier, he gripped his shoulder and thanked him, saying that he had found his destiny before killing him as well. He then claimed that the shaman's staff and left the burning ruins of his birthplace behind forever. Well, I fully enjoyed that video and I hope you did too. Quite a gruesome story to be honest, so and quite a bit of a like horrible start for an individual such as that. But of course, at least we got our like characters for our basis for Skyrim, right? Because obviously it is gonna be based on quite a bad character as we can see, you know? But anyway, before I begin, I would be much appreciated to get a like and subscribe and a comment. And I would like to have a big thank you to those who are supporting this channel. I am fully grateful for your subscriptions and I would fully like to hear your comments further throughout the this video too. And I almost forgot, if you fully enjoyed the video and would love to hear the full version of this, I am really happy to leave a link in the description below. But anyway, enough chat, let's go straight into the action, let's go. Okay, and here we go. And we are in our Skyrim creation menu. Now, okay, so here's what we're going to try and do, right? We're going to try and nail our character for Golden, right? So obviously we're going to need, um, obviously, the Orc category, Orc race. And she, oh, look at that already, like, you know, he already looks bad, like, kind of, like, you know, definitely been through, like, the mill sort of thing, like, you know, sort of thing, like, I got to admit, like, even for, like, the, like, the mimic of different characters that we could do with the orc uh, race, like, sort of thing, like, all the way to, like, uh, like, Lord of the Rings inspiration, like, you know, to, you know, like, the Borukai to... You know the inspiration of like uh, to like a warlock to to like stuff like this is is pretty cool. Like you know, I got to admit, like I am pretty. It is a pretty cool race to actually build on this. But anyway, let's just get right into it, Sheree. So right, uh, it's okay. Yeah. So let's have a look at this guy's body. Right, skin tone. Right, we're gonna need him more. What can I say? Yeah, I think that's the furthest it can go. Because that's kind of like a, a faded green, I should say. Definitely got that colour right. And yeah, we'll add the weight on. Just to see, like, you know. Because he is quite hunchback, isn't he? Like, you know, as he, as he was, he was quite deformed when he was born, as we know. So, the only thing is, we can't exactly have him deformed in Skyrim. Which is a, a shame, really. It would have been awesome to get that character right. So instead, well, we'll make our own version within it, all right? So pay close attention to this, all right? This is going to be as highly detailed as I possibly can to nail our golden character, all right? So, all right, uh, complexion, all right? All right, okay. So we want him to look a bit like, um, yeah, I say we could put it to about about here so we make him like a little bit rough if you know what I mean right a bit of dirt maybe uh, yeah we could add like a bit of dirt something like that dirt colors yeah something like that all right we don't want those scars because he doesn't have any all right let's have a look at uh, nah no war paint no we don't need that so right our nose type I'd say, because his nose is quite, like, up, if you know what I mean. So, wait there a second. Um, so, if we have a look at, like, um, hang on a minute. Let me just explore this a minute so we can try and, like, nail it, if you know what I mean. So, if we go for something. No. Hang on a minute. Um, it is pretty difficult, like something like that, I'd say. Definitely kind of like it, but it's not quite as we want. Um, no, that's too pointy for me. 
yeah something like something like that I suppose I suppose that could work you know because or maybe not actually let me just think sorry about this I'm just trying to you know trying to get him as accurate as I can um, okay right if we can actually like heighten it like yeah something like that let me just see a minute no it's too big no 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 um no 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 let's go back to the other ones uh no yeah i'd say something like that all right nose length uh let's have a look no 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 you want it like not so quite long because it looks like we're last let's, let's have it in the middle shall we uh, jaw width, I wouldn't bother with any like jaw width or jaw height or jaw forward or anything like that because his his beard is going to be covering all that so we won't even really get to see of what so just skip all these but you can if you want to like it's entirely up to you like you know you know what I mean you could literally have your own golden version like you know what I mean so right cheek colour I'd say yeah we could have his cheek colour like black for like the shadows of, of when when he puts his hood over his head you know so that'll be quite cool right right and then we could like for his laugh lines like yeah we, we can make them as dark as we can all right cheek lower level let's have a look yeah i'd say we can yeah just let's just get them dark nose color yeah because it's literally it'll give us that detail if you know what i mean for when he puts his hood over his head so it would be really cool to actually like it'll master like the shadows of the of the outcast of the shadows of the hood like when his hood get put over his head as i've said like which is yeah it is going to be pretty pretty cool right neck uh i wouldn't bother with that because his beard's going to be covering that all right forehead uh yeah i guess so we could have a bit of shade on his forehead like you know okay now next one is eye shape right right let's just have a look no we need something a bit more like no 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 we want something that's gonna like hit us you know what i mean uh no 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 too big i say yeah i guess we could have that could be nailed let me just have a little look a minute just to make sure no it's definitely too wide apart um that's too big for us so yeah something like that i think we could actually go for or something like that maybe all right yeah in fact yeah let's just keep it like that actually all right all right for his actual eye color well, obviously, we're obviously going to need red, in we? Because, yes, look at that. Perfect for what we're looking for. Definitely for our character. Okay, eye height. Right, as you can see, like, you know, I say his, his eye height is pretty high. Uh, because, cause, um... Because, like, he is kind of, like, slouched, if you know what I mean. So his eye height is going to be, like, quite up, like, so about here. Right, eye whip. Yeah, let's just keep it to the middle, all right? So it's not too big and it's not too thing over. All right, eye depth. Um, let me just see a minute. Nah, in fact, leave that as it is. Leave it in the middle. Right, eye color. Yeah, we could actually do that. So, you know, because it's giving us that, uh, that, con that, you know, the volume of, like, um, contrast to his eyes if you know what i mean because it's like it's really bringing out the red in them you know I quite like how this is going to be honest all right yeah definitely add the eye shadow because then it'll look good with the hood as well all right tint ah oh, perfect perfect yes yes okay all right his eyebrows i wouldn't in fact let's see oh yes look at that 
Oh, look at that. We can actually give him like uh, like features, if you know what I mean. You can give him horns and stuff if you want to, but then um, I'm just going to see him in here, what exactly, like, what it will look like, you know. It's alright. I'm just going to go without. But you can give him horns if you want to, like, it's entirely up to you. Right, okay. No, 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 no. Let's just have that in the middle, like this. Yeah, keep that as it is. Right, as for the mouth, right, let's have a look at the mouth shape. Right, let's just see, right, if we can, like, because he has, like, a cracked, or he has, like, a missing tuff, you know what I mean? So, oh, now that's not bad. It would be good if that was on the other side. That. So I'll see if I can get it on the other side somehow. Yeah. Um, I think that's possibly the closest that we're gonna possibly get to it, actually. So yeah, I think that's that's like like the tough side of it. Right, mouth height. I say we bring this down. Yeah, to about to about here, I'd say. And no, nope. Uh, chin length, uh, lip color. Right, let's just keep this. Yeah, bland. Alright, let's just keep it the same colour as what his skin is at the moment. Right. Once you've done that, then we're on to here, right. To be honest though, right, I don't really know like obviously in like the in like the mini movie that I did about about gold and that he has hair when he was younger, but I don't think he has hair when he's older though, so because I think as well, I think his hair will actually go and show through his, his hood, if you know what I mean. So, okay, then, so what we'll do is, right, we'll make him bald, we will, so then the hood will fit nicely onto his head. So we don't want him to have any hair, all right? So, right, let's just get rid. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Right, facial hair is a must, yes, so, right. Let's just hope that the, uh, the, the beard is here that we need, because his beard is going to be quite big for this. Okay, jeez, look at all the different, like, dilemmas for this. Okay, now we need to go the other side. Like, that's not even long enough, is it? So, uh, we need something a bit more longer than that. Because his, his beard is, is kind of long, isn't it? So, right. Okay, let's just keep going. What? There's a chicken in his... <laughs> no, you don't want that. Okay, that's way too long. <laughs> all right, um, now we're going to need something, like... I uh, say no, it's too wide. Um, no, we needed something a bit wider, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I guess that could do. In case you're wondering, like, what type of mod I'm actually using for his beards, it's called the uh, Beards of Power. So, if you want to install this mod and get the character nailed perfectly, I suggest you know it's it's a one to install for a definite, like you know. But anyway, back to this anyway. Um, right, right. His hair color is gonna have to be uh, obviously white. Oh, look at that! Perfect. That's perfect for what we want to capture, right? It's okay. Right. I think he's pretty much done. So right. Uh, yep, we have finished with our character, and we're gonna call him Golden. Okay, that's nailed. Now,
you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Well, it looks like we have come to the end of our tutorial. I hope this video was helpful and accurate, and I hope you had fun watching it as well as trying to create and mimic the character. Thank you for watching, and... And if there's any other characters you guys wish me to have a go at and trying to make, I'll be happily to do a video about it. So please let me know in the, in the comments section below. And I will do the best I can to make a video or whatever character that we can try and compress into Skyrim.